right, so there's 35 fletching. Now we're cutting uh, oaks outside of the bank. I'm going to fletch on my willows. And by the way, welcome to episode 14. And did I do it right this time? Yes, this is episode 14. Um, I'm planning on making a lot of progress this episode, so I hope you guys are looking forward to it as much as I do. And um, I'm going to try my best to get the most out of it. So I'll see you guys in the next clip when I get another noteworthy level. Alright, so there's 50 fletching. A uh, few more levels until I can actually make my maple longbows. And then all I have to do is wait for my miscellanea to uh, get all my flex and then string all my bows and uh, elk everything. That's going to take a while, but I'm looking forward to it. I think I can get it done easily enough as soon as I get my flex, of course. And there's 55 fletching, so I can now make the longbows, which I was after. And um, let's see how many I've left in the bank, actually. I have 4.5k maple logs left, so that's more than enough to get it. Wait, how many have I fletched? Interested in that now. Fletched 976 maple short bows, and I'm just going to finish up my maple long bows now, and then I have enough to string, and I probably have enough to alk until level 68 magic, which uh, will give me the ability to enchant my dragonstone enemies as well, which is awesome. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next clip when I get the level or when something exciting happens. Alright, so I got a maze random. Actually, it's the first maze random that I ever got on this account. And of course, I'm screwing it up. Oh my god. If, oh shit, I took the wrong way. Oh, fuck me. Oh, that was really stupid. Can I get in? Yeah, good. So, I'm not sure what the tactic is, but over the year, years of playing this game and actually um, um, finding out, like, or trying to complete the maze as fast as possible, I um, decided, like, that this is, at least this works all, all the time. Just take one door back when you're almost at the end, like, there will be two doors, or three doors in one row, and you'll just take one door to the back, and um, I... One door isn't uh, the right way to go, and the other door is. So it's always a gamble, and I just took the wrong uh, route. But still, I managed. All right, let's see what I got. I'm hoping for... Uh, well, I know that I'll get a lot. See, that's great. Oh, wow. This is... Oops. All right. Pretend like you didn't see that. Um. So that's some death runes, so that'll be great for my cat collection. Or, I mean, my... Uh, Fury amulet stack. Speaking of furies, I need a new, um, what it's called. I need a new cat. Anyway, uh, yeah, 51 fletching, so this isn't too far uh, after the last clip. And I'm still going strong. I'm about to uh, start with my maples. I'm going to make some maple short bows to 55 and then maple long bows. Really looking forward to alking everything there. Like, it's going to be great. Just, I think I'm going to craft, if it works out, I'm going to craft cosmics and, um, and Alk at the same time. But I'll see, maybe I'll find something else to do. Alright, so I'll catch you guys in the next clip. Alright, so I just charged my three glories that I have uh, at the Fountain of Rune. And that's great. I, uh, actually, the thing looks pretty cool. Anyway, I uh, have these charged glories now, and I think I'm going to um, get 40 Slayer real quick so I can finish Royal Trouble either probably tomorrow. And once I finish that, I will be able to um, get the optimal uh, results of my kingdom, which uh, obviously is the goal for now, so I'm not wasting uh, money, and I'm just getting results. Alright, so anyway, I'll see you guys in the next clip when I'm slaying. Alright, so I don't even have a green dragonite body, so that's something I'm going to buy first, and I'm going to train range while slaying. Uh, Mainly just to get level 50 so I can upgrade my accumulator. Uh, and the fact that I need level 60 for Mourners and Part 1. And, you know, level 60 will be a big help uh, on the way to getting the quest cape. And I need to get it anyway. And I have almost all my melee requirements except for defense. So I'm just going to train range for now. I just reached level 40 range so I can now wear my Dragon Hide, finally. And, um, yeah, I got Cave Crawlers as a task. So I'm just going to finish that and hopefully get level 40 Slayer as soon as possible. 
so I got 74 crawling hands, um, which is not that good of experience, and I got it from Vanica, which is really weird actually, because I figured that I'd get a better task with um, at least a little bit better experience, see, 19 Slayer experience per kill, that's nothing. But anyway, I'll just finish it, and I uh, will see you guys at my next task. Alright, so surprisingly enough, last night I went out and I didn't come home until like 6am, so I woke up at like 1 and my girlfriend came over, so I didn't play at all today. It's currently 7pm, I think this is the first time I'm logging on, but I did want to do my miscellaneous things because, um, well, I just want to check my coffers, I'm just interested in that. And I want to get level 40 Slayer if I'm able to pull that off tonight, hopefully. 1.5k flex, Toad flex, and Guam. Awesome. That's really sweet. That's um that's saved me a couple of hours. It cost eighty seven K though. Huh. Alright. Might actually have to go back to Puro Puro if I run out of money before I uh, manage to fletch all those things, all those bows and alcohol of them. Um but I, that won't be the case because that'll really suck. Like if I have to go back there that's gonna take <coughs> like half a day or something. Not really looking forward to that. But yeah, um, I just hope that everything works out and that I plan it correctly when it comes to money. And well, rather that I'm lucky when it comes to money and that I'll, my coffers will be full while I'm alking all the bows and um, that I can put everything on uh, herbs and logs. Alright, we'll see that in the next clip, I suppose. So um, I'm just going to start Slayer now and I have to get 40 tonight. Alright, so I first got my clue, and um, I'm definitely going to solve it as soon as possible. I'm just going to bank right now. I noticed that I lost, uh, I mean, I forgot my active file as well. So I might just uh, start and complete this medium clue. Uh, won't get any good alcohols, but you know, maybe I'll get a decent reward, who knows. And other than that, it's just fun, you know, to try your luck. So I'll see you guys when I finish this clue. Alright, <clears throat> so for my next clue, I need, um, let's just check it, right? An air staff, a bronze shield, square shield, and a blue pointed snow helmet. So I'm gonna make myself a blue pointed snow helmet, and uh, I'll get back to you guys when I actually made one. I hope that uh, it won't be too difficult. I don't really know how to make one. I think just use a chisel on one of those snakes that you can kill in Canifis, or well, in the uh, swamp. So I'll need my active file. All right, so I get back to you guys when I finish. Alright, so I have my blue snail, I just crafted it, but I'm going to get a placeholder as well, because, well, why not? I'm just going to kill one more, and then I'll be off to uh, finish the clue and hopefully get a decent reward. I thought I saw a blue one walk around here, but I lost it now. Oh well, anyway, I'll see it. I think it looks pretty cool as well. I'll see you guys when I complete this clue scroll. Alright, so uh, this is the reward. Oh, it's another clue. Bill trims. I don't know who that is, but uh, we'll find it out. Alright, so here's the reward. Um, guess I didn't have to buy myself a green dragon hide body, but that's a bit late now. Alright, so I'm just going to go back to Slayer now and um, hope that everything will be alright. But I um, think that I'll finish the task pretty soon, and after I finished it, um, for 40 Slayer won't be a problem, by the way. I think I'll get 40 Slayer tonight, so don't worry about that. I'm a bit tired though, so I'm sorry if the commentary is a bit slow or if I seem really confused. Um, but yeah, I did come home really late and I barely slept, so I'm pretty fried right now. I kind of have a headache. But you know, you gotta make sacrifices for that there are Iron Man achievements. So I'm going to uh, get 40 Slayer tonight. Alright, so I got lucky and got another clue score right when I got back. I think I killed around 10 or something, let's see. Oh, I didn't even, I, I killed 8. So I'm just going to see what the clue is, and I think I'm going to solve it anyway. I mean, I'm in uh, need of some rewards. The dead red dragon watches over this chest. He must really dig the view. All right, I know where that is. So I'll see you guys when I finish it. All right, I got a coordinate clue, so I guess it's a good time right now to get uh, my watch, sextant, and chart. Really glad I completed clock tower and observatory quests and stuff uh, already. And... Um, I think the uh, coordinates are in Frankenstein's castle. I'm not really sure, though. Need to check that. Alright, but anyway, I'll see you guys when I start digging. Alright, I think this is the final clue. 
Uh, I need to speak with Kaylee. Let's just see. See if I get something decent or... Oh god, not again. This is like the third. How many chairs are there? This might take a while. I'll see you guys when I find out. Alright, and this is my loot. A Bender's Beach 3 and a U short bow. That's great. Not sure what I'm gonna do. What 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 am I supposed to do with a Bender's Beach 3? I'm not sure if it's worth anything. Let's see. Bender's Beach. Oh, it's 310k. Huh. Great. Oh, that's definitely going in the bank. Um so I guess I need to um, be really sad about the fact that I got a Zemi book now and that I need four Zemi pages in order to fill up all the other books. But yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to continue my Slayer task to be honest. I uh, think it's time that I finish it and that I get done with all the cockatrices since I uh, have been doing two clue scrolls right now. I've actually spent more time doing clue scrolls than slaying. So I'm just going to complete those and will complete that task, and when I'm done, I'll see you guys when I get my next task. I don't know if I'm extremely lucky or if this is normal during a uh, um, during a task, but this is my third clue in, let's see how many I have left, my third clue in exactly 50 cockatrices. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm not sure. I kind of want to complete it actually and then maybe get even a fourth like that'd be amazing just get four clues and obviously there are medium clues so I'm not going to get any rune rewards so I could just wait until the end but I just enjoy doing clue scrolls and like getting the reward is actually quite a thrill only thing that I'm worried about right now is that I'm uh, slowly running out of law runes and I also don't have a lot of money yet because of my throne of miscellaneous coffers and um, so I might actually have to return to Pura Pura after I get level 40 Slayer. And um, I also need to make some new knives. And I have uh, 300 iron ores, but I also have 1.1k coal ores. Oops, sorry about that. But I also have 1.1k coal ores. So I think I'm going to smell steel bars and um, make, myself some steel, make myself some steel knives. Because, um, because I need to get rid of those coal ores anyway. And I'm going to mine them through Motherload Mine. And, <clears throat> like I said in a previous episode, I'll need 65 smithing eventually, so I might as well just get started with it slowly but surely, right? Alright, so I'll, I think I'm going to do the uh, clue scroll and then get back here to finish my Slayer task, and I'll see you guys in the next clip. Alright, I decided to do um, my task before I did uh, the, uh, the clue scroll. Desert lizards. Uh, they're not that good, are they? I need ice blocks for those if I remember correctly. Alright, I'm just going to oh, ice coolers they're called, alright. And those I need for muggers. Right. Oh wow, it's been ages since I've slayed at this low of a level. It's really awesome. <laughs> really enjoying it though. Um problem though is that I'm going to run out of knives, so I think that after this clue scroll I'm going to I'm going to melee the desert lizard task because they're um uh, what is it called? Oh, well, I'm losing my train of thought. I'm really tired. Uh, I've been tired all day. Anyway, um, what I was saying is that I'm going to melee my desert lizard task. Like, I want to melee any task in the desert because I want to be done with it as soon as possible because I'd hate banking, like, twice during a task. How many do I have, by the way? 77. So that's doable. I'll just need a lot of food. I'm just going to bring my, um, uh, bring my salmon rune armor and maybe, like, desert robes or something. I don't know. And then, you know, everything will be alright. And after that task, uh, I hope that I'll get some range journey tasks. And if I do, I'm just going to use my 300 iron ore and my 1.1k core. Well, 600 core, obviously, but I have more core in the bank. To make myself some steel knives. And with those steel knives, I'll be able to get a decent range level. I'm not really sure I'm going to get arrows, by the way. Like, that's something that I um, realized during Slayer. All I have to train range are my... Uh, knives and once I'm done with my knives I'm going to need more knives because I don't have any arrows and I'm not going to buy arrows because they're pretty expensive but um, right so I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet uh, for range 
probably gonna stick with oh wait no you can you can make bolts right like crossbow bolts i'm gonna use a crossbow later on if i get a room crossbow ever but until then i'm just gonna use my knives and i'm just gonna smith knives because well you all know the smithing story by now i'm gonna have to do a lot of smithing so i might as well just make myself knives i'll see you guys when i complete this clue scroll i hope i get a decent reward again like the last one like that was a really nice surprise actually all right so i think i got my reward well no way, that's actually, I'm not sure if it's good or anything, but that looks really nice. Alright, so really glad with those three clue scrolls, the first reward wasn't anything, but awesome. It looks really nice as well. Alright, so I'm just going to uh, get to my desert lizard test now, and uh, you know, just finish that off, and I'll see you guys when I get my new slayer task, probably. Right, I'm about to finish a little over 300 steel bars, and I'm going to smelt everything into knives so I can uh, range until at least, well, it'll be good until level 50 at least, it'll, maybe a little more. Hope to get another smithing level out of it, and maybe get 44, and um, yeah, I'll be good for a while with uh, those knives, and if, um, I'm going to do mother load mine and smithing before I run out of, of knives and trade my range even more, so it's going to be okay, I will have enough supplies to just train my range eventually just uh don't gotta rush like not yet. don't have to rush 99 range right now but wasn't on the planning anyway all right so i'm just going to smith everything right now to, and go up to farrock and um hope to get a decent smithing level out of it at least i have enough knives to uh, train it last me at least it's 40 slayer as well Alright, so there's 45 smithing, and I'm almost done with uh, all my knives, and then I'm going to go back to Slayer. Alright, so there's another task complete, and I got a pretty good inventory at uh, those cave crawlers, actually. Got lots of herbs and lots of unfinished potions, so now I'm going to get a new task, and uh, hopefully it's a task that drops a clue scroll, because I really need a clue scroll at the moment. Well, I don't really need it, but I mean, it's fun to do. It's like... A nice distraction from Slayer. So my new task is 79 Moss Giants, so it's great, it's another range task. And I'm pretty confident that I'll get 50 range <laughs> with uh, with 40 Slayer. And that uh, was my goal. I bet I'll get a magic short from my heart clue someday, because... Um, well, obviously my knives won't run out yet, but I just hope that they won't run out ever if I don't get a magic short bow. Or at least... If I get a magic short bow with arrows, because, you know, obviously it's a question if I ever get arrows. Alright, so I'm about to finish my Moss Giant task, and I got up to level 48 range and 35 Slayer during this task. Um, and I hope that in the next task I'll kind of clue scroll or something, that'll be fun to do. But if not, it doesn't really matter, I guess. I mean, I'm there just to slay. Uh, I'm, de I'm definitely sure that I'll get 40 Slayer tonight, by the way, so... Um, no worries about that. I lost. I forgot my fire runes. That's stupid. Anyway, I'll see you guys if something noteworthy happens, or we'll have my next task. I'm not sure if I should record every task. Like, I mean, it, it does make it more interesting because it shows what I'm doing. But I'm not sure if it's interesting to just, or I mean, interesting. It. I mean, I mean, it just shows what I'm doing, and I guess that sort of makes it more interesting. But at the same time, um you know it it's, might be a bit redundant so i'll just leave that up to people to decide or you know if i notice myself that it's not that fun to watch or if it is then i'll just um, change my ways i suppose i'll see you guys when i get my new task or if something happens in the next task 106 harpy bugs from i know that these are clue droppers i also know that they hit pretty hard so um I'm going to actually melee this task because I want my rune on while doing this. And um, I'll see you guys when I get a clue drop or when I finish the task. Alright, so I got 18 cave bugs as a task, which is really weird since they're really low level creatures. And um, that he assigns them in a very low amount. <laughs> So it, it's like it's like a task that I would do if I was like 20 Comet or something. I don't know, I'll just, I guess I'll just finish the task and then get back to him. Um, but I doubt that I'll get any noteworthy drops at all uh, during this task. So I'll see you guys when I get my next task. 
Well, that task was extremely uh, quick. It took like 10 minutes because of all the teleporting. And now I have to kill wall beasts. Amazing. I have to in the bank, so I'll just use those. Obviously, I just used my... Look, it took just the task took 8 minutes, literally. So, um, I'll just get to Lumbridge quickly, and I guess I'll just finish this task. It's not going to be too hard. I don't know what they drop though. Like I, I've never actually done these as a Slayer task, so that'll definitely be a surprise. All right, so this task was absolutely horrible. No good drops, nothing. But I completed ten tasks and I got twenty points. Don't know if that's actually worth anything. Um, yet I know that a Slayer helm is four hundred points if I remember correctly, and a Slayer ring is three hundred, and I'll need seventy-five crafting for that. But you know, we're slowly getting there. So I think I'm going to buy the Slayer Ring first because uh, I really like the teleports to everything and I think that by the time that I am able to buy a Slayer Ring it'll be really beneficial for skilling as well because I have high, higher skills than now so I'll need to get to places uh, where I can teleport with my ring. Um, also the fact that I won't get 99 Slayer anytime soon or actually just start serious lane because saying that I want to get 99 Slayer is obviously a bit... Uh, well, you know, it's, it's going to take ages, even if I wasn't in a do-it-yourself account. So to say that I'm going to do it on a do-it-yourself account is obviously a bit too confident. But anyway, so to put it in other words, <laughs> I'm not going to start Slayer anytime soon. So I'm not going to get the Slayer helmet anytime soon. And that task is absolutely horrible. Great. Alright, so I just completed my crocodile task. And um, it's currently 3.30 a.m. I started it at like I think one maybe like quarter to one so this task took me well over two and a half hours honestly it's the most shit task I've ever had I can't remember that I ever got so pissed off they won't skip it though because I was already halfway done when I realized it was shit all right but anyway I um, think I'm, I'm not gonna head off to bed I really have to get free slayer before uh, tomorrow and complete royal trouble not at least before the next reset of the kingdom. So I'll see what I do. But um, let's just get a new task and hope it's a bit better. Mm -hmm. Alright. Ah, oh, that's good. Alright. So I'll just do a quick farm run and go to bed, I suppose. Alright, so from three Rainer seeds, I got 18 Rainers. Uh, 19 Rainers, actually. So i um, definitely going to do that another time. It's great, I didn't expect this much yield, so that's going to help a lot when I need prayer potions and uh, training thieving on master farmers will also help me get rainer seeds and the kingdom will help me get rainer seeds. So, you know, farming is uh, the next best thing for an iron man. So there's my 50 range and I can now use magic short bows as given that I get them from a clue score ever. And I am almost 50, 40 slayer. Uh, 745 experience left and if I get 40 slayer and I complete this task then I will be doing royal trouble because uh, that was the initial goal and then I'll get back to fletching so I'll see you guys when I got 40 slayer probably because well this task isn't really interesting I'm not getting any clue scrolls so don't really have anything to show except for the levels anyway I'm really um, psyched that I finally got it like um, it doesn't seem like a really high level, and I guess it isn't, but when you're actually going for it, like, when you put your, like, when you don't say, I'm going to start slaying, but when you say, I want 40 Slayer, and with the kind of crappy task that I got, I'm really happy that it's over with, and I, I did enjoy it, though, like, that's the surprising thing, it's, re it was really slow, like, those tasks were, like, 3k, 2.5k experience an hour, but I did enjoy it, so, um, I'm looking forward to more slaying later on, but, um, I first want to obviously get that base in stats, in money, in bank, and um, <clears throat> um, just, you know, fill my coffers and get my quest cape. Alright, so I'm about to hit level 40 Slayer, and then I'm just going to uh, finish this task, and after this task I'm going to do Royal Trouble, and then I can finally get back to Fletching. Alright, so um, anyway, my total level really boosted, by the way. It's 1,123, and in the previous episode, I just got 1,000, uh, so that's great. And there we go, 40 Slayer. So I'm just going to finish. I don't have that many kills left, and then we're done. Alright, so I'm about to finish um, Royal Trouble, and now I can use up my Kingdom optimally. I'm going to put the rest of the favor that I have on 
woodcutting probably. So I wonder what kind of levels I'll get from this. Probably one slayer level, one agility level or something. Uh, yeah, one slayer, one agility. And of course you get the 20k coins, but I'll store them in the bank. I might actually have to go to Pura Pura before I finish my uh, fletching goal because... Um, there we go. Because I will run out of money probably before I can start alking everything. So I'm not really sure about that yet. 66 combats, 4 more combat levels until I can use the other um, Slayer Master. Anyway, I'm just going to do this and then... Oh wait, I can collect it as well. 772 flax and some arid seeds. One arid seed actually. And let's see. Alright, so I'm just going to put everything on wood. And I'm going to put everything on herbs when I reach my... Um, I'm just going to put the 20k in there by the way. But I'm going to put everything on herbs one shot. Once I get 5k flex, I can start my... Uh... Wow, I'm really losing my train of thought here. <laughs> Once I can start stringing all my bows, wow, that took ages. Alright, so anyway, um, I think I'm going to go to Pura Pura actually, just so I can uh, fill my coffers a little bit. I'll see you Wait, no, actually, I think I might have enough, so I'm just going to go Fletch. I don't even know I wanted to go to Pura Pura. So I'm just going to go Fletch, and I'll see you guys when I get some levels. Alright, so I just realized I got 50 magic, so I'm just going to um, buy two accumulators instead of two attractors. Or instead of um, having a tractor because it will give me steel arrows instead of iron. I mean, it's just going to be really good when I slay and it gets my <laughs> nicer arrows back. Alright, so anyway, I uh, just figured I might as well show you guys that. I'm going to go back to fletching now. Alright, so I decided that I'm going to uh, do a little bit of pura pura anyway, so I have at least 750k in my coffers. Um, I'm planning on a little more though, so I can last there a while, so I think I'm going to just get around, I don't know, 1 mil GP from Pura Pura, so I'll probably be there the entire day, and uh, considering that it's Sunday, it may not be the best, so I might actually do it tomorrow. Um, I'm just going to hop a few worlds and see if there are lots of people or not, and if there aren't, then obviously I will, um, and then obviously I will just hunt implings and otherwise I'll just do it tomorrow morning, you know, either way, it'll work out. So, um, but I just want some money in my coffers for miscellaneous before I uh, actually start all the spinning and alking and room crafting and stuff. Alright, so I'm just going to get my uh, thing to 100% and then I'm going to uh, Xenaris. Alright, so um, after two hours of hunting, uh, this is the loot. <laughs> it's really terrible. I'm never gonna hunt Impnix on a weekend again, but I'll do it tomorrow morning, so hopefully I'll get some decent uh, money and maybe some even some glories if I'm lucky. Uh, that'd be a big help. Right, so anyway, for now I'm just going to continue my fletching. Alright, so there's level 60 fletching, and I still have a few more to go. It, it won't get me to level 65 fletching though, but it'll get me close. And... Um, from then on, I'll probably just train Fred fletching through the maples that I got from Miscellanea. Right, so um, I'm just going to continue fletching these last 2.7k maple logs. I forgot to mention, but I finished all my bows. So I got 64 fletching, and let's see how many unstrung bows I have. I have... well, where, where are they? 4.5k unstrung maple logs, so that'll be enough for 66 magic at least. I'm currently slaying, by the way, because I decided that I wouldn't mind pure essence. Alright, so I just got level 46 crafting, like you can see there, and now I can craft my orbs. Alright, so I just finished my last inventory of flax, and let's see how many bowstrings I have now. Alright, so I have 2.3k, I still need around 1, 1k more, 1.1k, so I'm just going to do 2 days, so I have around 1.5k more than I have right now. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mine some pure essence now while waiting for those two days. And then tomorrow morning I'm going to do some pura pura. But I'm going to mine around, I think, 2 or 3k pure essence because I really want my uh, to run craft runes while alking all my bows. So I'm just going to stick around if I work for a bit. Alright, so I just finished the mini quest. And there we go. 23 rune crafting. And time to mine some essence then. 
I decided that I'm not going to bother mining them because it's going to take ages, it's just not worth it. And I'm going to get 66 magic eventually, and uh, in worst case scenario I'm going to have to mine everything at the Wizard's Guild. So I'm not going to uh, mine anything anymore, I'm just going to train Slayer a bit and go to Burr Burr tomorrow. <coughs> There's my first Dragon Impling, sorry about the noise by the way, but this is my first D-Imp in around three hours of doing this, so just got home from work as well, so that's pretty good. It took me like 20 worlds though. Alright, better get this one. God damn it, don't lag. Come on, don't 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 do this to me. Good. Dragon Bones, awesome. Alright, that's good. <laughs> um so that's my first EMP. Uh, I hope that more may follow because um it took me quite some time to get this one. Alright, so this is my first infantry. I'm going to obviously do another one because this isn't enough to last me in miscellanea. But um I'm not getting a lot of alcohols, which isn't that nice because right now all I really want is rune chains and D lungs from Dragon's Wall, well, obviously uh, glories from Dragon Implings, but chains and square shields would be really awesome. Alright, but maybe uh maybe in the next run. I've decided that I'm going to start fletching because it's pretty quiet at right at the moment in Purpura when it comes to implings, so there are a lot of hunters. So I'm just going to string my first batch of bows and I am going to um Probably get um, buy some nature runes in the um, mage uh, bank in the wilderness, and then start my fletching while I'm doing puro puro. So hopefully I'll make some money out of that. Maybe even get some glories. Um, but for now I'm just going to train fletching and string a bit of uh, bows. All right, so I'm just recording this clip uh, to show you guys what I did. I got level 49 crafting because I spun all my bow strings. Here we go. 3.1k bowstring and hopefully this is enough to get me to level 66 magic which will make me give me the ability to do this swan song quest and that will enable me to fish monkfish for 70 cooking to do a recipe for disaster so the goal to get um that 70 cooking out of the way took way longer than expected uh, getting 71 wood cutting training fletching and eventually training magic so i could do swan song anyway as for my next episode i will most likely be um training my uh, fire making to 50 just to get that out of the way honestly and then I'll be spin uh, stringing all my bows and alking them all while doing pura pura to make a little bit of money for my kingdom. As for my skills, in this episode I've gained a lot of slayer levels, a few combat levels and mainly fletching levels obviously and I hopefully in my next episode I will gain a few more. I'm at almost 6.4 mil total experience which is a decent increase from the last video. As for my quest points, I'm 184 quest points. So like I said earlier, in my next episode you'll most likely see me fletch a little bit uh, to get level 50 fire making, which won't take too long, I'll probably get that tomorrow. And um, get another, get my 66 magic out of the way if um, it's that it's if it's going to be that fast. Um, I'm tr going to try to not split it up into episodes, but that really depends on the episode because I don't want to make episodes that are um, too short, but I don't want to make episodes that are too long either, because then people just won't watch them till the end. Alright, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this progress video, and I hope you guys are still enjoying the progress, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.